Welcome back, bookworms, to another story time with Miss Shamita and Early Education Intervention Service. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome to our YouTube family. I hope you will stick around and subscribe. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. I do not own the rights to this book, but if you want to add this book to your personal library and support this author, there's a link in the description below. Let's get started. The Night Before Easter by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Kathy Corey. Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, not a creature was stirring out on the lawn. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter Bunny soon would be there. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. Then out in the barn, the hens made such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eyes should appear, but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. He walked on two legs which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that, except Easter Bunny. He sniffed at a pansy, a tulip, a rose, jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. Then up to our house in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift, dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes, how they sparkled, his whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton, his nose like a berry. He made not a sound but went straight to his treasure, filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Chocolates and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets and onto the floor. And just when I thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs looking over each one. He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantel, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose, then went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. I read his note as he hop hopped away. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. Well, bookworms, we've come to the end of our story time. I hope you have enjoyed the night before Easter. If so, please remember to do the youtube -y things and like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Remember, we upload a new story time every week. So until next time, bye.